Louisiana Beer Reviews, Foster's Premium Ale. Foster's Premium Ale, 5.5% alcohol and 18 IBUs, is produced in the United States by SAB Miller, marketed by Miller Coors. It um, formerly was called Foster's Special Bitters Premium Ale, but about three years ago that was changed to just the premium ale and the can design was changed a bit. It's interesting though because the Miller Coors website, website is still showing the original can design. For whatever reason, they probably just neglected to change it. <clears throat> One thing that bothered me about this, it says on the can, ale with caramel color added. So it has, it's, it has coloring in it. It's not really that dark. Uh, Albany, Georgia, and Fort Worth, Texas. And it's brewed under the supervision of Foster's Australia uh, Limited in Melbourne. Anyway, uh, it gets a C on Beer Advocate, gets a little below average rating on Rape Beer, not a real bad rating, but below average, and uh, I've never had it. I have never seen it sold anywhere until a couple of weeks ago I was in Texas on the old U.S. Highway 75 in the Conroe area, and I went into a grocery store and I saw it on the shelf, and I was shocked, stunned, and very excited, so I had to buy it. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Got a lot of smoke coming out of that can. And these cans spill. I know that. seen other people pour these big cans and they spill everywhere. Okay, that head is really building up. It's a um, very thick off-white head. It's not stark white, it's off-white for sure, eggshell color. The appearance is uh, caramel color because it's got caramel coloring added to it. It's a lot of bubbles screaming up. One problem is they don't really have a wide mouth can, so I think that causes some of the spill, possibly. Oh well. Anyway, let's give it the smell test. It sort of has that ale smell, that sweet, kind of um, mild yeasty smell, uh, sort of a bread smell, but it's got that ale aroma, it's hard to describe. Uh, the head is fluffy like they said on the website. The website says you're going to get a thick fluffy head. They're right. And I line. But the aroma is mostly very faint. It's not a strong smell at all. And now the most important thing, the taste test. It's about 90 degrees out here, I'm going to tell you right now. It is bitter. Uh, you get more of the hop bitterness than you get the barley malts. So uh, I think the it's, it's the same beer as as when it was called Special Bitter. It, the recipe wasn't changed, just the name was changed in 2008 to try to give it more market appeal. Apparently that worked. And the bitterness really shows up more in the back end of the taste, but it, it's, it's sort of like in the middle end back. When you first taste it, it's not a strong flavor at all, and then it kind of hits you. But overall, the flavor isn't that 
bold or strong anyway, but it's got a lot more taste than a regular beer. It's got more taste than the regular Foster's, although I like the Foster's. So, um, I don't know if we'll ever see this sold in Louisiana. It's only sold in two ways. It's sold in the 25.4 ounce oil can, they call it. And it's sold in, on draft. That's it. No bottles. Can or draft. The bitterness at the end of the uh, sip is pleasant. It has a medium body. It finishes um, semi-dry, leaning toward wet. You see a decent amount of lacing in the glass, actually. It really took out the bitterness in the, the foam. Hey, you know what? This is all right. I'm glad I was able to find this stuff. So how would I rate this? I'm going to give it a B. It's very, you know, it's good. Uh, is it very good? Does it deserve a B plus? Yeah, I'm going to go... The more I'm drinking it, the more I'm liking it. I'm going to jump this up to a B plus. I think it is very good. I really like this. I think they did a good job with this. It's too bad I've only been seeing it for 10 years on the internet. Never got to try it, but 2011 came along and I was in Texas. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Les Ailes Les Bon Temps Roulet. This is a very good beer. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to New Orleans.